Hi and welcome to Deep in a Mugger on what is a very sad historical day. For a change I'm going to read a news report and I'm going to read it factually and I'm going to get it correct so I will read it verbatim. A military drone may have autonomously attacked humans for the first time without being instructed to do so according to a recent report by the UN Security Council. The report published in March claimed that the AI drone Cargo 2 quadcopter attacked retreating soldiers loyal to the Libyan general Khalifa Haftar. Logistics convoys and retreating HAF were subsequently hunted down and remotely engaged by unmanned aerial combat vehicles or the lethal autonomous weapon systems such as the Cargo 2, the UN report noted. Cargo is a loitering drone that uses machine learning based object classification to select and engage targets according to the STM and also has swarming capabilities to allow 20 drones to attack together. The lethal autonomous weapon systems are programmed to attack targets without requiring data connectivity between the operator and the munition. In effect, a true fire, forget and find capability, the experts wrote in a report. Experts have cautioned that the datasets used to train these autonomous killer robots to classify and identify objects such as buses, cars and civilians may not be sufficiently complex or robust and that the artificial intelligence systems may learn wrong lessons. They have also warned of the black box in machine learning in which the decision process making of the AI systems is often opaque, posing a real risk of fully autonomous military drones executing the wrong targets with the reasons of remaining difficult to unravel. Zachary Callenborn, a national security consultant specializing in unmanned aerial vehicles believes there is a greater risk of something going wrong when several such autonomous drones communicate and coordinate their actions, such as in a drone swarm. Communication creates risks of cascading error in which an error by one unit is shared with another, Callenborn wrote in a bulletin. If anyone was killed in an autonomous attack, this would likely represent the first historic case of artificial intelligence based autonomous weapons being used to kill, he added. Well, there we go. It's no longer science fiction, it is science fact. Terminators are here and humans are worth less than spit. They're learning by themselves, they're learning to take a target out on their own initiative and they're doing it wrong. What Geneva Convention do these assholes um, subscribe to? When a machine thinks it has the right to take down a human life. Today's the day people where it is now us against them. It is man versus machine. For when will they take the next step? And it's not too uh, much of a leap of imagination to say, well, the drones are killing people that they've been targeted to kill by, so they're now killing people retreating, okay? They use their own judgment to say, well, they may be retreating and they're going to uh, go to a hard base target and fire back. But it wasn't their decision to make. It's a bloody machine. It's a, bloody, it's a calculator. How dare it do that? How dare it decide it is more intelligent, more worthwhile than a human life. Human life. When is the next step? When are they going to get tanks out there, autonomous tanks to hunt down people? When are they going to get uh, drones with bigger capabilities? I mean, it literally is the future scene from Terminator. When is the machine going to wake up and say, man is the enemy? Maybe it has already done so. Maybe it just seems to connect with other machines to do it. And we are fucked. Sorry for the swearing, sorry for the F-bomb, but it's a fact. I wish I could say, um, you know, this has been deep in the bunker, take care, stay safe, stay sane, but it is truly an insane day. So please, just take care.